What's going on, you crazy animals? It's Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So we have to go over five crazy high short interest stocks that I'm looking at right now in the stock market. And one of them I actually already bought calls on earlier today. So we're going to break down a bunch in this video. If y'all find value, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And you might as well get your 10 fractional shares for a moo moo of the Mag 7 stocks with at least a $100 deposit. It's a no brainer guys check out the details down below the qr code right here or just simply go to stasurfast.com slash moomoo and with that being said cheers let's dive right into the video so right off the bat guys it's currently about 1 1 15 p.m on the east coast and the indexes for the most part except for the dow which is slightly in the red the other indexes are doing pretty well the russell's up 0.6 percent nasdaq's up about 0.8 percent and we have the s p 500 up around almost 0.35 ish right around there almost 0.4 percent on the day and the vix is up around three percent as silver and gold continue to dominate and silver is a video that I have to uh, make uh, a separate video on or silver is um, a topic we have to talk about separately here as that one's breaking out and who called that out? Not to toot my own horn, but I called that out. Did we not call it out, guys? Silver's now above 30 bucks an ounce, 32 bucks an ounce to be exact, and it's completely breaking out. Do you guys not remember? I called out silver. I called out SLV. But again, that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother video. So the point of that is we're looking green today, guys. We're looking pretty green, except for the Dow Jones, but we'll cut it slack considering the Dow just hit 40,000 points last week. We'll cut it some slack. So let's dive into these high short interest stocks, guys, with number one being FFIE. Let me do a quick update here on this one as we are up another 55% today, which is nuts. We're now at a dollar and 60 cents. Let me pull it up here on the intraday so you guys can see. So you all remember on Friday, we went ballistic, right? We hit almost $4. Then we sold off for the rest of the day and we sold off badly, guys. We got all the way to 90 cents pretty much from 390 in the same day. So we're talking about a 75% uh, just collapse in FFIE stock on Friday, but that rebounded in the pre-market today. We actually got over two bucks in the pre-market, and now we're kind of consolidating in the mid dollar range. We're up around 56% on the day, and I made a short about this earlier today, and I'll cover it again right here. I am noticing, not to be a Debbie Downer, but I'm looking at the charts here. I am noticing a head and shoulders, right? We do see that. We have the left shoulder right here. You guys can see that. Uh, oops, that uh, that's actually not the right tool. Give me a second here, guys. There we go. The left shoulder. We got the head right here, and then the right shoulder is right here. So this isn't the most bullish pattern, but let me tell you this. If we do get out of the neckline of this head and shoulders, which is still very possible at about $2, 225 This could be gearing up for another major move. So this is not quite done quite yet. Just because we have uh, a head and shoulders in the making, all we have to see now is this break back over $2, 225 and we'll see where it goes from there. Let me actually set some alerts on FFIE, $2. I'll do another one at... Uh, 225 might as well do that. Two dollars and 25 cents. So, if it gets out of there, guys, we could be going potentially back over three bucks per share. And you guys know FFIE short interest is ridiculous, it's like 85 86 percent at the time that I'm making this video. So, the second one, guys, is Barnes and Noble BNED. Let me pull it up and show you it's down 32 percent on the day. Uh, which obviously is not the best, but on Friday, this stock went berserk. I mean, you guys can see it was at 18 cents and it ran all the way to 60 cents on Friday. That's pretty much a 300 plus percent move. Unbelievable. And now we're pretty much down 50% from where this was at the peak on Friday. And for me, guys, this is more of, well, obviously all of these are speculative plays, but this is arguably the least speculative out of the bunch here. Maybe I'll do a video solely on Barnes & Noble, but the short interest isn't as crazy as 
any of these stocks really in terms of the ones we're talking about, FFIE, a couple other ones. Barnes & Noble's short interest isn't that high, but it's still there. It's got squeeze potential. And for me, this is one that I feel like it's a decent business. Arguably, they're trying to turn it around. Well, they are. Um, but of course, there's still risk of bankruptcy. But I think Barnes & Noble is a very interesting play. I'm actually in this one with 10 contracts. I bought some calls this morning. Nothing crazy, about 100 bucks of an investment, guys, if you even want to call that an investment. It's really just a fun trade at the end of the day. But I bought the dollar calls expiring in a month from now, pretty much, in the end of June. I think June 21st, to be exact. So I bought those, paid about... A um, hundred bucks for 10 contracts, give or take a little bit. I forget exactly, but I'm in this one with some calls, having some fun guys. And uh, we'll see, man, if this thing takes off, who knows? Those calls could print like crazy. Of course, trade at your own risk. I'm not a financial advisor. Just because I'm buying something doesn't mean you should go and buy it as well. But uh, yeah, that's one that I'm watching as it is down on the day. I figured, let me buy some calls in the weakness. Why not? A pure speculation play. And by the way, guys, I'm posting all my charts, all my ideas, all my trades, all the moves I make in my private Patreon portfolio on Patreon. If you guys are interested, that's linked down below. Shameless plug, stossurfest.com slash Patreon. I'm doing a bunch with the Patreon, so make sure you guys join that. And the next stock here is IBRX, which we have talked about before many times actually on the channel. And this thing has been performing. You know, recently it went from around $5 to $10 in the span of a couple of days there. You guys can see, and by the way, their short interest is 40%. And now we've pulled back a good chunk from $10.50 to $7. Looks like we're holding the uptrend here above the 180 moving average. So let's see if we get a continuation here. I'm actually loving the charts on IBRX Immunity Bio. So watch out for the weakness here today, down 7%. We'll see, man. Maybe $7 holds on IBRX. R-I-L-Y, B Rally Financial. Might as well do an update on this one as well. You guys can see we got a bit ahead of ourselves on the breakout here from $18, $19 bucks all the way to 40 bucks. This thing doubled up in a couple of days. And since that point, really, over the past couple of weeks, we've cooled off. We've pulled back. Now we're at 25 to 30 bucks per share. We're actually holding the highs all throughout November into um, you know April. We're holding those highs as support, which is awesome, and we're also above the 180 moving average. So the chart on uh, B Riley R I L Y looks really good, similar to IBRX. Very good looking charts here, and this stock, this company. Uh, is heavily shorted. It's 56% short interest. So R-I-L-Y on the dip here is looking pretty enticing. I'm not going to lie. It's up 7% on the day. We're right above the 180 moving average. Looks like buyers are coming in. So we'll see how that plays out moving forward. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, C3AI, which has been beaten down badly from 38 to 20 bucks. Now we're starting to break back over the moving averages we have been over the past couple of weeks here. We're starting to reverse heading into earnings, which are coming out looks like um, on the 29th. So in about a week after the bell, we're getting C3AI's earnings and they have 31% short interest. So Hey, man, anything's possible. You guys can see last time they reported, this stock went from 26 to 38 in the span of a couple of days. And a lot of that move was probably a short squeeze, you know, right? A bunch of shorts covering. So what are your thoughts? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments on these stocks. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along for more, guys. And please, trade at your own risk. These are very risky. You could lose all your money. So only put an amount of money that you're willing to lose with any meme stock for that matter, guys. So let me know your thoughts. And don't forget to get your 10 fractional shares of the MAG7 stocks for Moomoo with a $100 deposit by using that link down below. Checking out the QR code right here. 
or by going to stasurfest.com slash mumu. And you might as well check out my Patreon if you guys want to see all the moves I make in my private portfolio, the Discord chat, you want to be a part of that and see my charts and ideas throughout the week. All of that's on Patreon down below. And with that being said, guys, cheers. I'll see you in the next one.